Hi, this video will explain to you the partition of a group G by coset GH of a subgroup H. This presentation is based on John Farline's text 10.1 theorem. You can find the theorem on page 97. Let G be a group and let H be a subgroup of G. We define a relation to the L on G as follows. A related to B if and only if A inverse B belong to H. Now we will claim that this relation to the L is an equivalent relation on G. What is an equivalent relation? We call that an equivalent relation is reflexive, is symmetric, and is transitive. You can find more information about equivalent relation in John Farline's text, section 0, page 7. Let's show that this relation to the L is reflexive. For every element A in G, then we know A inverse times A is E, belong to H. This means A is related to A. So this relation is reflexive. Next, we will show that this relation is symmetric. If A is related to B, then a inverse B belong to H. And what we need to show is to show that B is related to A. Since H is a subgroup, therefore inverse of A inverse B belong to H. But we know inverse of A B is B inverse A inverse. Therefore inverse of A inverse B is B inverse times inverse of A inverse. But we know inverse of A inverse is A. Therefore, the second term in the product is A. That means B inverse A belong to H. And we know this means B is related to A. And it shows that the relation is symmetric. Now we are going to show that this relation is transitive. If A is related to B and B is related to C, we need to show that A is related to C. Now, A is related to B means A inverse B belong to H and B is related to C means B inverse C belong to H. But we know that H is a subgroup of G, so H is closed under binary operation. That means the product A inverse B and B inverse C must belong to H. Now we apply the associativity of the binary operation and group B and B inverse together. But we know that the product of B and B inverse is E, identity element. So we have A inverse times E times C belong to H. But we know also A inverse times E is equal to A inverse. That means that A inverse times C belong to H now. And this means that A is related to C. So the relation is transitive. What is the consequence of equivalence relation? The equivalent class of A called the cell containing A or A tilde in John Fanline text form a partition on G. If you can see this in John Fanline's text, section 0, page 
page 7, tell them 0 0.22. Now we know that A related to X if and only if A inverse X belong to H. So if I multiply both sides by A on the left, so I have A times A inverse X belong to A times H. But we know A times A inverse is E. Therefore, I have E times X belong to E H. But E times X is equal to X. That means X belong to E times H. Therefore, we know that equivalent class of A. The cell containing A is A tilde. Consists of all the X in G such that A is related to X and from the earlier slide, this means that all this is equal to AH. This set AH here is called the left cosine of H. Since the left cosine of H form a partition of G, thus we know that all the distinct left cosine are disjoint. And we know that the union of all left cosine is G. This leads us to Lagrange theorem in group theory. It says that if H is a subgroup of G, then the order of H is a divisor of the order of G.